Okay. This is Big Baby J with another episode of Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age. Now it's time to craft the Kumbaha and Stoneblade. Alright, first things first. For the Stoneblade, you need a Taurus Gem. Alright, you need a Taurus Gem. And you need a Chimera Head. Which you can get from this enemy right here. You can get both of these ingredients from this guy here. Okay. Alright, you can get both of those ingredients from him. And you can need the Aura Calcum. The yeah, Aura Calcum is from the DDARs in this area. You know, last episode I chained them to get Vision of the, to appear. So. This time we're just gonna find them and get my aura calcum. If not, not a big deal, because I got 50 something already. So we're gonna run back down here. And uh we're gonna face off with one of those DDR so you'll know where to get the aura calcum. The brain pans don't drop them. They're a waste of time. So don't worry about those. It's the DDRs that you want. As soon as I find one, I pretty much killed them all off. But I, I'll find one here shortly. The Jaora Calcum, the Taurus Gem, Kamara Head will give you a Stone Blade. The Ddar right here will give you Aura Calcum. If he drops it, but he didn't drop it, no big deal. All right, now for the Kumbaha. You need the Orcalcum and the Mallet. So where do you get your Mallet from? We go to the Clan Primer. We go to my Bestiary. We're going to go down to the Red Mobs. And I'm looking for... That's the Esper's boss's red game. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. What is his name? Can't remember his name now. But I should know it when I see it. Bombshell. That's his name. This guy here found in the Lushu mines, okay? He, is a, he has a 20% chance of spawning. This is the guy where you steal your mallets from, okay? And I also need gem steel, which you can craft that in the bazaar. Or you can uh, do what I did, get the level 99 red chocobo to spawn, which he automatically drops gem steel, so. You can get crafted in Bazaar. You need Scarlet Tight. Uh, I think it's Scarlet Tights. Uh, Damascus Steel and Hellgate Flame. You need one Scarlet Tight, two Damascus Steel, two Hellgate Flame to make Gem Steel. So, and there you have it. From here on out, I meet you guys at my vendor. See you guys there. Okay. Now that we're here, we can uh, sell everything we need. First thing first, we'll sell our Taurus gems. We only need three of those. The Chimera head, I need two of those. And the Orichalcum, I need two of those. And you get Dark Steel Blade. Okay. Before we continue, we're not gonna purchase it yet. Alright, we're gonna go back and we're gonna sell. I already sold two, remember? Notice I did not buy that Dark Steel Blade. This is why. I can still use those same two or a calcums to make the Kumbaha. So instead of uh, selling or a calcum, I already got two sold. Remember, if you 
sell too many at one time, you can waste them. I'm not gonna waste them because I already just sold two. But since I haven't bought that purchase of the dark steel blade, it's still available to me. So watch this, I'm gonna get me two mallets and two gem steels. Wait a minute. Oh, I need one. I need one more. Excuse me. I do need one more or a calcum. Just one. There we go. I need three or calcums for the combat. I thought it was two, but it's actually three. But I still didn't uh, waste any of them. So I got the Master Crafted Blade, which the combat. Kumba, and I get the Stone Blade. It's not as good as the Simha or the Durando but it's still a pretty decent sword so Vaughn can equip both of those he can equip the stone blade which is 95 go to one hand sword and the Durando is 90, 99 great triangle is 153 the Karkata is better than the Karkata as far as strength wise but I still like the Karkata better than stone blade and the same high is 103 so and the Kumba is another one hand sword. Uh, give you 40 evade and 117 attack. So that'd be good for Vaughn or Ball Fear for that matter. Okay, from this point forward, I'll meet you guys back at the uh, uh, the Pharaohs. So y'all take care. See you guys later.